Okay, seriously, these rotating brackets, they just keep on coming. If you're new to the channel, this is the third video that we're reviewing rotating brackets for cameras. So in this video, we're going to take a look at three different rotating brackets from the brand Ulanzi and their sub-brand Falcam. While they all serve the same purpose, which is to make it easier to rotate the camera from horizontal to vertical, they do have different features on their own. And so, yeah, let's take a look. So let's start with these two right here. And they are very much identical except for one feature. Of course, these two are the ones from the main brand Ulanzi. And as you can see, they look very much alike. They're made of black aluminum and they have that little red knob for the friction. Now this Ulanzi, Ulanzi, I'm, I'm not sure, this Ulanzi S63 is basically the variant for Sony cameras. So if it is S63, it's the one that's for Sony. And of course, there would be other variants for bigger cameras with bigger lenses, such as Canon, Nikon, Fuji, and everything else. So the Ulanzi S63 is basically the most standard one because the mounting of this is Arca Swiss. Now what I do like about this compared to the other ones that I've seen such as the small rig one and the Nisi one is that both sides are actually Arca Swiss mount compatible. Which means that this main tripod mounting plate right here is Arca Swiss compatible but at the same time that plate that connects to your camera also has the ridges that can fit the Arca Swiss mount. So that means that you can actually mount this part or this part depending on what you'd like to use for whatever reason you have. Now, of course, what's universal about these rotating brackets is that to mount them, you would have to remove the lens, then mount the plate, and then mount the lens again. And that pretty much applies to every variant that I've seen so far. Now this Olanzi S63, similar with this other variant that we'll talk about in just a bit, they can rotate technically to all different directions. So you can rotate 90 degrees, 180 degrees, and 270, except that if you want to go back to the original position, you cannot just rotate all the way because it's actually going to hit the knob right here. So you're going to have to turn all the way back just to bring it to the neutral position. Is that a flaw? Well, I don't really think so. It would have been easier if we could just rotate it all the way 360 degrees. But in any case, without the camera mounted, technically you can rotate it 360 degrees or basically all the right angles that you'd want to use. However, of course, the ability of this to rotate 360 degrees will still depend on whether there is something that might obstruct its way. And for most full frame cameras, it's going to be that side grip right here, as you can see here on my a7 IV. So pretty much the same limitation as the one we've seen from the Nisi Wizard. And I can see that all three of these brackets will of course have that limitation as well. Now the next variant again is pretty much the same except for this side. Now the rear mounting plate is still Arca Swiss type compatible which means that you can still mount that rear part or that plate that you mount onto the camera onto an Arca Swiss type quick release clamp. Basically I think that's a good thing because even if the other side is not Arca Swiss you still have that option. So you have quite a bit of versatility. Now of course this is different because this variant is actually the Claw S. 63. What does that mean? The claw mount is basically Ulanzi's unique quick release system and it is made up of this little square plate right here. Now this is not Arca Swiss compatible. This is not compatible to all other tripod mounting systems that you might be used to. And to be honest at first I was thinking why would you want to make your own mount which basically limits your versatility, which basically limits your compatibility with other tripods. But again, this was made basically to give the users an option to make it quick when it comes to mounting and releasing the plate. And it does make sense. If we were still talking about L brackets, I would totally ignore the claw because of course, L brackets allowed us to slide between Arca Swiss type quick release mounts. But 
since we're talking about rotating brackets wherein you don't really need to slide them side to side or up or down, it actually makes sense. This little thing that allows you to mount your camera and release it with just one button is actually going to be very handy because again, you don't need to switch, you don't need to slide and basically you just need one point to attach your camera and that's basically it. Now it basically comes with this receptacle that you attach to the plate of the tripod you're using or alternatively you can remove the quick release clamp of the tripod head that you are using and replace it with the receptacle. Now when you have it there of course all you're gonna have to do is place your camera and it's going to mount right there and you press the buttons and you can release the camera. Now we go back to the Claw S63 and all you have to do to mount your camera is basically place the front plate on the receptacle of the claw and it's going to lock in place. And of course if you want to remove it you just press the sides and you can release it that way. It's a unique mounting system, it's totally up to you if you prefer that over Arca Swiss. But yes, it is an option that you can look into. Now among these three rotating brackets, this third one is perhaps the one that looks a little more complicated, but at the same time, it's the one that I might actually end up using among the three. Now this is the Falcam version of the rotating bracket, and if I'm not mistaken, again, I'm entirely new to this brand, but if I'm not mistaken, Falcam is the more premium or the more professional sub-brand of Ulanzi, and I can actually see that in there. Now, what makes it different? Well, number one, it has a silver lever instead of a knob, and I actually like that aesthetic better. But also, in addition to the mounting foot right here in front and the camera plate right here at the back, there is actually also another mounting plate on the side of the rotating collar. And basically what that allows you to do is that if you rotate it like that, you can actually have another mount right here that is also Arca Swiss type compatible. At the same time, it also has a thread here so you can actually attach an arm or maybe even a handle if you wanted to. Now, as I was taking a look at the packaging of this, they were actually calling this a rotating half cage. And that actually makes sense. You don't really have a cage on it and I'm not really a fan of cages because, of course, I do not really shoot professional video, but instead I use these for photography. But I do like the function that a cage brings or the function that the half cage brings. And basically what we have here, because of the fact that there are mounting ports right here, there are mounting ports here, and there are mounting ports here, you basically have three sides of a cage, so it's a half cage basically, and that's going to allow you to use them in whatever way you want. The one on top has a quarter inch thread. The one on the side right now also has three quarter inch threads, and the one at the bottom also has three quarter inch threads. And again, the one here has a, an Arca Swiss compatible mount, this one is also an Arcasis compatible mount, but also this is compatible to what Falcom calls the F38 and F50 mount. And the same goes for the plate right here at the bottom. Of course, there are also ways to adjust the height if you needed to because you might be using a smaller camera or a bigger camera and you're going to have to adjust the height between the camera and the rotating bracket. Now to support the fact that they're calling this a half cage, these F22, F38, and F50 mounting plates are actually compatible to gimbals directly. So you don't need an additional extra plate just to mount this rotating bracket on a gimbal. And that will basically allow you to, of course, shoot vertical videos with your gimbal as well. I don't really own a gimbal so I can't show you, but I will put the link of this product in the description so you can check out and double check the compatibility with the gimbal that you're using. And there we go. Three more rotating brackets to look at. The Olanzi S63, the Olanzi Claw S63, and the Falcom rotating bracket right here. 
Now again, if you're to ask me as of now, I might stick to the Falcom version. And I have a good friend who uses the claw system, so I think that I'll give that to them. And maybe I'll give away the Arca Swiss version of the S63 to one of my friends or one of my followers from the Philippines so that I won't really have to ship it too far away. But yeah, if you have any questions about these, do leave them down below in the comment section. And of course, if you're new to the channel, my name is Nico Valenzuela. I'm a landscape and architectural photographer. And for some reason, all these rotating brackets are finding their way to my door. And yeah, if you're into content about landscape photography, architectural photography, or photography in general, then click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. In any case, thanks for watching.